What's up guys, Robbie here with another video for you today. Um, first thing I wanna say is, first thing before the video, I just wanna let everyone know that I got a new project coming up. Um, I can't really say what it is yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait to reveal it for you. I haven't got the truck here yet, but it's on its way. Um, all I can say is it's gonna involve a turbo and an LS. With that said, if you're new to the channel, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe because there's gonna be a lot of good content coming up. Some of it you might love, some of it you might hate. It might. What I'm gonna do is a, a little unorthodox, a little, a little out of the norm. So, like I said, if you're new, subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you. And uh, let's get into today's video. It's already getting hot so today's plan I'm going to Harbor Freight and I'm building me a junkyard tool set I'm gonna go through it show you everything that I put in the bag that I'm gonna need at the junkyard because like I said I got a new project coming up I'm gonna be going to the junkyard for parts quite a bit also I think I'm gonna go get a new battery because well see the battery in my daily driver died on me and in a last-ditch attempt to get to work on time I stole the battery from the C10 so I need to get a battery for my daily driver so I can put that battery back in the C10 because the, C, the bracket I made for the C10 only fits Optima batteries, so I gotta put that battery back in here. And I really miss driving this thing. Because I'm not gonna buy another Optima battery. I'm gonna buy a cheap battery for my daily driver because that's what we do. <laughs> put the good stuff in our project trucks and the cheap stuff on our daily drivers, right? It's 10.45 a.m and it's already 100 degrees. So we'll see how it goes. But stay tuned, I'm gonna head over to Harbor Freight, do a little shopping, grab a few tools that I need, and we'll go from there. Soon, one day, instead of finishing one project, I'm gonna start another one. <laughs> oh, I have a problem. Who else has like way too many projects going on at once? and never finish this one. That's me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to my life. 8-1 problems right there, always out of fuel. All right, to Harbor Freight. I love Harbor Freight. It's kind of a bittersweet, it's a kind of a blessing and a curse all at once because there's a Harbor Freight right by my house. It's like a mile and a half away. So naturally I spend way too much time and money there because don't get me wrong, I don't only buy cheap tools. I have like $40,000 in tools at work from being a mechanic for 12 years of nice Snap-on and Cornwell and Mako and Mac tools. But for home, Harper Freight does just as good. And some of their stuff has come a long way. Like, like their ratchets and stuff are very comparable to Snap-ons. Um, they've come a long way, so. 
And this is not sponsored. I'm not being paid, and why won't it focus? And uh, yeah, I am not being sponsored by Harbor Freight at all to say any of this. It's just my opinion. Stripping and dipping and bass, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See a fit lab on it until they whip my coffee. Old man's got style. As I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip I tossed it. I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh huh. Coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB who we running with. Yeah. All right, now, before I get into what I got at Harbor Freight, I, uh, I also went and picked up a battery for this truck. So, it's right there. Little Everstart from Walmart. Cheapy battery because it doesn't matter what kind of battery you buy in Arizona, the heat just kills them. They only last like two years tops. So I don't see the point of spending money on a Optima or something like that when it's just going to go bad in a couple years. Um, and the warranty on those are pretty good. Usually you can uh, take it in and, and get it replaced, no questions asked, um, even after the prorated uh, term or whatever. So yeah, before I get into what I picked up at Harbor Freight, I'm gonna change that battery out and get that battery back in the C10 so I can back the C10 out of the garage. So here we go. Spit on my body, bitch, I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell it, most of y'all is flawless, broken whips as long as it is foreign. Hurt to one it, cause the yams enormous. What's an ass, since she isn't gorgeous. Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest, do not know we're knocking on the door. It's came in, I came in, I came in, did it like the Porsche is coming in. Yeah, flex. I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Okay, alright. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. I really don't like wearing gloves. I always say that gloves are only good for pissing your pants. Can't do anything with them on, but it's too hot to touch anything. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Booyah!
All right. Hopefully the cooler's not too loud. Um, I'm gonna try and shut the garage door and run the cooler in here and see if it's any better than leaving the door open. But so right now, go through everything that I got, kind of how much I spent total. Uh, I don't think I'll go through everything individually, the prices of, but. Basically, I got quite a bit of stuff for not very much money, I believe, in my opinion, you know. So, there's a few things that I didn't get this time around just because, you know, kind of on a budget and didn't want to spend a whole lot of money all at once. Uh, there's a few things that I probably have at work that I could put in this bag. You know, extra, extra tools that I have at work that I can bring home and put in this bag. So, but I got the majority, like the, the meat and potatoes, as you could say, uh, basically everything that you're going to need, basic you know, the, the basics. I got the necessities. So let's go through that now. Okay, so here's everything that I got. As you can see, I mean, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's it's all the, the basics. Um, first thing I'll go over is this 40 piece socket set. This socket set was $5 and some change. It was like six bucks total. It's a pretty cheap ratchet you know, and, some, and just shallow sockets, but it comes metric and standard sockets. Um, but for six bucks, can't beat that. And then I got some metric deep sockets because the vehicle that I'm gonna be pulling parts for is newer, so it's all gonna be metric bolts. I, you know, I don't really need a whole lot of standard. Uh, this 22 piece combination wrench set, it has both SAE and metric. So both sets are inches through here. Um, I'm probably gonna get a couple more bigger sizes just so that, you know, this only goes up to seven eighths on the standard and I believe it's 19 on metric. And I don't know why, why Harbor Freight doesn't have an 18 millimeter. Like on GM vehicles, 18 millimeter is one of the most common sizes of the bigger sizes. And Harbor Freight or Pittsburgh, none of their kits come with an 18 millimeter. I found that kind of strange. So I'll be finding an 18 millimeter to add in here because I always need one and they're never in the kit. Uh, just some basic screwdrivers, Phillips flatheads, you know, a couple different sizes. Uh, wire cutters, needle nose, pliers, and crescent wrench. Um, a half inch breaker bar. Uh, I already have a set of half inch sockets. It's a, just not here. Um, that so the breaker bar will come in use. Uh, a fairly good size pry bar, a hammer, I believe this is a three pound, so knocking ball joints or anything loose that you need to there. A pair of gloves so that I uh, don't burn my hands. Uh, flashlight, this flashlight was like seven bucks. Um, it's pretty bright too. Has two different levels. Magnetic base, pretty cool for uh, seven bucks. And then some elastic tie downs or bungees. You know, they always come in handy when you're by yourself trying to hold stuff out of the way. So that's basically all that I picked up today from Harbor Freight. Like I said, I've got some other tools still uh, that I'm gonna set aside out of my main toolbox at work to go into this bag. But that's kind of like the majority of the the essentials. Um, see all in all I spent 105 bucks so you can't really beat that for 100 bucks I don't think um, I'm sure I could have done a little bit better but it is what it is oh and then uh, let's see and then I've got this old uh, cornwheel tool this like tool pouch box thingy that I uh, I think I got this for free when I bought my Cornwell toolbox. I can't really remember, but I basically never used it. It's just been collecting dust. Um, so yeah, I'll clean it up, put all these tools in it, and then it will be a designated uh, junkyard tool set. All right, so I think that does it for today's video. As you can tell, I'm covered in sweat. Um, I need water. <laughs> uh, it's just, it's brutal out here right now so bear with me while I make these videos um, like I said here the probably the next video I'm gonna be revealing the project truck 
Um, and then I'm going to be doing it on a budget, so I'm going to be slowly getting parts coming in. Um, and it will probably be a, a slow process, but like I said, subscribe so you don't miss any of the content. Hit the like button if you like this video. Hopefully it, it helped you out with uh, what you need to go to the junkyard. And I'm out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You crazy mother...